For the United States men's Olympic basketball team, it is their second exhibition game as they prepare for Rio just under two weeks away. We are at Staples Center in Los Angeles on a blistering hot 85 degree day in Southern California. You are watching U.S. basketball presented by Nike. It's the U.S. men's team against China, a team the United States will face in its opening game in Brazil on August the 6th. Right, thank you, Jared. Right here, we'll take a look at the Gatorade starting lineups and Mike Krzyzewski shuffling the lineup as he would do throughout the pre-Olympic exhibition schedule. Carmelo Anthony, DeMar DeRozan gets a start along with the L.A. Clippers, DeAndre Jordan, Paul George will play the shooting guard, and Kyle Lowry is the point guard. And Team China will go with E. And the NBA fans are familiar with E. Gian Leon, who was the overall number six pick in the NBA draft by Milwaukee. Spent five seasons in the league with four different teams. Joe Kung is the other forward. Juan Jeling. A seven-footer is the center. And in the backcourt, Ding Yang Yu Hong and Guo Ailuan. And Guo is the point guard. The officiating crew, uh, Jose Carrion, who works NCAA and uh, FIBA. Anthony Jordan, who is a former NBA official now, works uh, in NCAA competition. And from the NBA, Marat Kogut. E guarded by Anthony. And it's knocked away from Yang Huang. Look at that shit, DJ! Look at that shit, DJ! Jordan looking for the block and he gets it. The Rosen mishandled, got it. Oh. And that's what we're talking about at the start of the show the keys for Team USA. Creating offense from your defense. John Dre Jordan with the block shot at one end. And how about your seven footer trying to get different looks and different lineups and trying to build that camaraderie on this team? But uh, Coach K did tell us that you try to get down to a rotation of nine or, or ten. Man, nice bank shot. You can hear the Chinese continue. Out here on the floor here. Joe Dung off with that uh, corner shot. DeRozan of the Toronto Raptors. In the starting lineup uh, here tonight. Nice move by DeRozan as he goes glass. Up and under there by DeMar. Doing a good job of pump making using that escape dribble. He up top, played by Anthony. A little confusion on that screen. This is Joe Chi who just checked in. He is slated to be the starting set of 24 second violation. China in possession. They are one for eight from the field to this point. Nice move right there. Zhao Jiwei for the national team coming off the bench here tonight. Kyrie Irving also coming on for the for the first time. Here's Thompson did not shoot well the other night and hits on his first attempt from downtown. Play was out here an hour and a half before tip off, working on that very shot. Catch and shoot. USA going with a three-guard set as Paul George remains on the floor. Oh, pretty shot on a fadeaway by Zhao Jiwei. Here. So the game is tied at seven. Nice backdoor pass. Durant getting it to Cousins. It counts in the foul. The oldest play in the book, pick and roll. Marcus Cousins doing a good job using that body control from the delivery from Kevin Durant. Marcus Cousins averaged 27 points a game for the Sacramento Kings during the season. Head to Rio. The only way you're going to get in game shape is at the defensive end. Nice turn three there by Kevin Durant. You got to pick up the ball. You got to. Durant, yes. Kevin Durant from downtown. Here is E with an angle jumper for three. E wants a game to lead the Olympics. Durant putting a move on to set it up for Butler for three. 
Collapse the defense with dribble penetration. Half shooter. g -way not able to hit. The rebound is missed by E. And here's Thompson with the lead out. Butler. Colby who wants to extend to a 23-10 advantage. Will it be Durant bringing it up? Will it be Curry? Will it be Draymond Green who we saw handle the ball so frequently in the last uh, couple of years? E, once again, shows the touch. Final seconds of the first quarter. The rat is fouled with just a few seconds remaining. I don't think the clock had moved. It's showing just 4.2 now. Am I correct? Uh, once in 96, possibly going to New York. But did you see me in a New York Knicks uh, uniform? Yes. No, you could. The new look New York Knicks. Second quarter is underway. Here's Thompson on a quick release. So Clint Thompson hits another three. The championship with uh, Denzel Valentine, the game winner in overtime. Thompson again from downtown. The game coming up against the U.S. in Oakland on Tuesday, followed by two pre-Olympic exhibition games in Brazil, up against Australia and Lithuania. Off the break, it counts in a foul. Lowry. The assist from Jordan and Kyle Lowry of the Raptors will go to the line looking for a three-point play. DeAndre Jordan out here playing point center. Comes up with the steal. That shot is deflected away from Jordan. Looked like he took a shot to the wrist. So if you're going to beat Team USA or be in the game, you got to be able to make shots like that. When you have wide open opportunities to knock down threes, and we're talking about the better teams that. Well, using the pick from Jalin. And that's an offensive foul. A charge called out Wong Jalin. Anthony facing up and shooting. Following a missed tip by Barnes. DeAndre Jordan. And looking for their first ever medal. They did qualify for the Olympics by winning the FIBA Asia Championship, defeating the, the Philippines. This is E working against Barnes. Lost possession, able to recover. Now forces with the shot clock running down. And the ball back to the U.S. Oh, great defensive effort there by Harrison Barnes. No help. He's found his small forward for the future here in Harrison Barnes. Here's Irving. Able to penetrate and that makes it home. How many times did we see that in the NBA Finals for Kyrie Irving? Being able to use that high screen and roll, get into the teeth of the defense, take the contact, and still be able to finish. So China in possession. He looks to set. The screen. This is Glow. He fires for three. And you can tell me that's not Tony Parker S right there. Huh? I'm rolling with Glow. You might not like the name, the Chinese Tony Parker, but the move right here that he put with the step back three, I'm in his corner, marvelous. Schedule for the US. They will play China again at Oracle Arena. On Tuesday night. Oh, nice move by Jordan. Andre Jordan spinning his way. And a lean on a Kevin Durant who has that international experience. He went finding E, and he's called for the travel. So the ball back to the U.S. Earlier, Young Lu Ming, member of China's Olympic team of the 88 Olympics in Seoul. Nice pass inside, and Marcus Cousins with the step. And another assist by Kevin Durant. I like that. We're going to put the ball in the basket a lot. Great ball movement here by Team USA. George not able to hit. Cousins right there again. For Team USA. Plus seven overall off the boards. 
Ki Wei. Lights oh, oh, we got the step. Oh. Count Ki Wei. And I know our own Jared Greenberg is going to have an opportunity to talk with the Admiral David Robinson at halftime about his experience as Kevin Durant knocks down his third three in this first half. With 13 points, our stat model to keep shifting around. <laughs> nice move and nice cut there. As you mentioned, Hall of Famer David Robinson, three-time Olympian, will be here at halftime to talk with uh, Jared. Oh, what a move. Oh. Man with 14. E leads Team China with 10. This is Joe Chi. Down to two, down to one as he goes for the crossover. And scores! And the officials say it counts. He just did beat the buzzer. I'm not quite sure there's another player in the NBA as gifted with the basketball than Kyrie Irving. Well, I mean, what a special move to finish that first half. In Oakland at Oracle Arena on Tuesday night, and we're told the tickets are still available. That pass intended for E. So the ball back to the U.S. And they're able to break down court. Green! I would not be surprised. Come in Rio that Draymond Green will be the leading assist person on this Team USA. Little fake there by Joe Chi. Rebounded by Jordan. So Joe Chi starting the second half did not start the game and the foul is called on Chi. Basket won't count. Try to wrap up Butler. It was almost a discontinue by Joe Chi. And then he flips one up with the shot clock running out and on the air ball. Possession back to the U.S. Because that's their one strength. They have size. They're tall. They're long. But, but they look, can't shoot. They can't shoot. And their foot speed isn't where it should be. So walking through an airport, you'd be like, that's an amazing basketball team. Yeah. <laughs> because of the great point for China. Barnes 4-3. It's tipped over to Butler. Kicks it back out. Lowry fires. Yes. Kyle Lowry. Last season, how about the Raptors advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in the history of the of the franchise? Nice touch. Joe Pung. I was more impressed with them winning those two games versus Cleveland in the conference finals after totally getting blown out in games one and two. They have 17 on the shot clock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And that's the inexperience of Zoe Chi not being able to put a body on DeAndre Jordan at the defense. Throw off the head fake, driving on low. Rejected by Jordan. Kept alive. Here's Guo with three on the shot clock. And the ball back to the United States. Guarded by Guo. Anthony. Catch and shoot for three. Struggled in that first half from beyond the arc. That's his. This is Pung. Try to get the step. Bad pass. And that's a 24 second violation. That play both bad. U.S. gets it down in a hurry. Thompson is open. Four three. Four to seven turnovers committed by the U.S. Here's Cousins. That was rejected. And Thompson. Able to hit. He is the high scorer for China, but just two of nine from the field. Thompson got the step. Thompson on the drive. Durant. Anthony, they whip it around. Irving on a nice move. Yes. Unset. Whoa. Flying as he was faked out. 
Well, to your point, I'll say it's bad shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Irving wide open. But he's not somebody who would necessarily point things out on a regular basis. Well, I, I think we'll see a little bit more nice pass there by the good Cousins by Kyrie Irving. They're going to count that basket as the defender went through. Jiwei putting moves on Cousins. Shot clock running down, and he fires one up. And only 20 years old. Made it back from a shoulder injury. He's played well here tonight. Nice little kiss off the glass. The ball movement. Here's DeRozan oh, back on the floor. Able to... Now DeRozan, another player who can handle, moves it across off the pressure, finding it open. Durant. Yes. Kevin Durant. As the mismatch on Grohl spins in, finds DeRozan. George trying to keep it alive. This is Guo with Anthony back. Comes back to Guo. Nice move. Guo Iowa. And Lewis right back. Kevin Durant. The U.S. coaching staff would like, like to see take place. Look at the length of on the floor. <laughs> that was pretty good defense there. China team into bad decisions. 24 second violation. And here is DeRozan at the other end. He scores. Yes, and it counts. And he will head to the line dramatically. And I like the comments he made to our own Steve Ashburner talking about it's time for me to open up a new chapter. Players run, sure, as we have as yes. we've seen. Yes. Not necessarily here tonight. And we're talking. About one of the, the weaker teams in China. The United States will open up against China in Rio. Off. And uh, that is deflected out of bounds, apparently. Uh, I, I would say after 2000. Well, the U.S. did not win a gold in 2004. Here is DeRozan. Oh, the and Australia, Australia, will be tough. And Serbia and France, which will lead to the quarterfinals, is he able to finish? And I look back at Draymond Green, stripped there by Jimmy Butler on E. And Butler called for the travel. So he ends up with the traveling violation on a move that he is usually able to make in right. the presence of Yao Ming. Obviously a, a champion with the Warriors. And a three, nice touch by Ji Wei. He's six for ten, which uh, looks out of character. The China box score off the, the turnover. Thompson is right for Foul is called on, on Zhou Chi. Up in the Bay Area. Chicago and Houston before they hit to Brazil. A three-pointer for Zhou Pong. Pong's rejected. Deontay George with the block. Jiwei. And it's stolen by Lowry. Lowry pulls it back. Jordan. Nice pass. In counts of a foul. Beautiful pass by DeAndre Jordan to Harrison Barnes, who will head to the line. And this is the type of unselfishness that you're going to see from this team, USA. Lowry had a wide open layup here on the steal. Gave it to DeAndre Jordan, who had a dunk, but recognized that ball. To the foul. So the who is that as difficult as at the line comes up with an, an air ball. <laughs> now I wonder if he's gonna have to worry about Hacker Jordan 
the oh. international stock. No? Teams won't hack her, Jordan? <laughs> 42% career free throw shooter. And for some reason, China has taken a timeout. They love these timeouts in the final seconds of, of quarters. <laughs> Remaining. That's kind of like a Greg Popovich timeout right there. Broken up by Jordan. Thompson with the alley oop. Intended for Jordan. E, yes. 106, 57 victory for the United States. They led by as many as 54 coming off. 37 point win against uh, Argentina. So they go 2 0 in pre Olympic play as Coach K. And Young Moon and Giannis Christopoulos, the assistant coach for China. Some parting words, and they will see each other again on Tuesday night at Oracle Arena in Oakland. And uh, these. Two countries will face each other in the...